a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large bore IVs. Get him to ICU. He's Stay. not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, the roof's clear. Max, Max, dear, all my friends. Pain? Did you get out of here in the middle? Max, I'm one one. Sorry, I broke you. Run! spot in my head. A bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. This is the main residence. Dr. Magdalena from ER. You can give away the bed you were holding for me. That detective we were waiting for was DOA. She's headed for the morgue. I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze! NYPD! Found him! You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Internal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. No! Shit! 
they were after me. It was my fault. You can't run from your past. You'll end up running in circles. Until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. Only the hole's grown deeper. I had tried to run from it, edit it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside, drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Where are those extra units? Call the central. We need every available unit here now. I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out. Back to the job. The NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there, acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while, like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. NYPD! Whoa! Easy, officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the Squeaky Cleaning Company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cop- oh! ah! ah! disguise didn't fool me. He was leading me into a trap. Perps were masquerading as cleaners. I'm not a violent. 
violent man by nature, but it pisses me off more than anything when they do that. It's an insult. That's what it is. We're trying to clean the place. They should have more sense than to bleed on the floor. That's the ticket. <laughs> Guys, get Jackie Brown in there taken care of. We're done. Okay. Kill him! Die! Kill him. Oh. Oh. The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. The answering machine had a message on it. Enough chit-chat. Finish her! Wait! The mob guys attacked us! I have no beef with you guys! You took them out! Listen, I work for Vladimir! Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We, we can... NYPD, drop them! Finish her! Oh, God, no! Like all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After him! Don't let him get away! Come on! Finally! Hey! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! Nothing can get to you. You're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it.
now, right? I'm okay, damn it. Hey, we're working together on this. You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name. Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson. Homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The Senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it, too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version, be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Max, 911. Bad guys with big guns. They've got me pinned down on the entrance hall. Could use some help. Could use it now. I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Gentlemen, allow me to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. And he's down. Dearest guests, prepare to die. Max, I'd love to come and welcome you, but I'm busy dodging bullets and hiding under a desk at the moment. Someone was talking on the other line. Nothing to worry about, baby. I'm going to be all right. When haven't I been all right? Max is here now. You know Max. I'll call you when it's over. I love you, baby. Vlad was a perfect gentleman, reassuring his girlfriend. Someone other than Annie. Vlad, shut up and stay alive. I'm coming. for you. Ah! Max, these wise guys are really lousy shots. You should have no trouble taking them. You're Max Payne! Afraid so. Max! I'm Mike, Vladimir's friend! You are the sheriff. Uh, how about making me your deputy? Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride!
They asked for it. Just follow the trail. Jesus Christ, apocalypse now! Got some heavy shit here! Tone it down! Just a- Linerson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. T, the whole set for a tooth. The only way to do it. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. Dearest guests, bullets and hiding under a desk at the moment. Lad, shut up and stay alive. I'm coming. Max, you heard him. He's coming for you. Die, die, die! Max, these wise guys are really lousy shots. You should have... Hey. You Max Payne? Afraid so. Max! I'm Mike, Vladimir's friend. You are the sheriff. Uh, how about making me your... Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride! They asked for it. Just follow the trail. Jesus Christ, apocalypse now! Got some heavy sh... <laughs> Linerson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. T, the whole set for it. much longer, if it wasn't too late already. Hey, Pain! Shoot! 
pay for this Russian, you fucking pay! My hero! You saved my life! I could kiss you! Vinny Gogniti, a criminal mastermind? He is wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade. The Mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. <laughs> what was it you did for a living again? Scout son or detective, I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> a hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Home, sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened. An echo of the past. An old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The fish of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was hiding in a cheap motel.